Hello everyone, it is 1.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, May 23rd, 2011. Um, I have a little bit of the case of the Mondays, not really though because my weekend sucked ass, so I mean it's kind of like, it's kind of like nice to kind of go back to the swing of things. You know, and I'm not really being kind of down in the dumpy like I have been lately. Um, but the thing of it is, is, um, the weather's getting warmer. Uh, my allergies are almost inconsolable. Um, the Claritin that I take every day is barely working. Um, I'm still supposed to take Flonase, but I don't like sticking anything up my nose. Uh, but, I, and, but I have the Santa Rinse, which is um, completely, um, you know, all natural. It's saline and you mix it with water and pour the water in one nostril and it's supposed to flow out the other. And it does. Oh my god, it does. Um... But, uh, you know, then again, that makes me feel like I'm drowning and it's the whole thing up my nose kind of phobia thing that I have. Um, but uh, when push comes to shove, I'm going to have to use that because it's just getting really bad. My little baby girl, she's coughing and sneezing and just all kinds of gunky over here. I don't know exactly if she has allergies or not. Um, I'm leaning towards allergies just because I'm feeling kind of weird around the eyes and shit. Um, but... Uh, my life's been a roller coaster. I know many of y'all's lives have been a roller coaster for quite some time or is starting to be. I don't know if it's planetary or just, you know, coincidence. Although I'm starting to not believe in coincidences anymore that things do really do happen for a reason, whether it's man made reason or esoteric. But, um, you know, baby girl, she's actually pretty mellow. She's on the couch. She's being such a sweet little thing. And, but she can't help it because she's sick. You know, I'd rather have her be a sweet little thing and be mellow and healthy than have her being sweet and mellow and not feeling good. So, I feel like I'm almost due for a nap myself. But uh, I'm going to be trying to take it easy. I just wanted to warn you guys that uh, in case the lights go a little dim and hippie chick bliss, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm okay. I just, I need to step away from my whole online persona, if you will. Um, you know, uh, online I'm just the biggest social butterfly ever, but in real life I'm actually pretty shy. And uh, being a social butterfly and always being on is um pretty draining i don't know how i don't know how actors and actresses can do it in hollywood i i i guess that's why they ask for the big bucks right i mean i can't think of any other reason you know but uh ooh. oh my goodness um but uh you know my life is starting to go back uphill again I just thought I'd let y'all know that. I'm not trying to, you know, go dim and hide. It's just now that everything is finally calming down, I can relax and kind of take a chill pill. Um, I have a doctor's appointment on the first, I think. It's first or third. I have it written down on the refrigerator calendar. Um, but hopefully then I'm going to be asking my doctor, you know, since now everything has finally come to a head, what I've dreaded the most it's finally come to a head. What I've been trying to procrastinate and put off and stuff like that is finally has finally arrived, and I'm going to ask him to have me take the mul Minnesota Multiphasic Personality uh, Index or inventory. And uh, looking on the Wikipedia article for the MMPI, uh, let's see here. The Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory. It's one of the most frequently used personality tests in mental health. This test is used by trained professionals to assist in identifying personality structure and psychopathology. I had to take this when I was 14 years old because I had attempted suicide. And um, looking back on it, that was for attention. It was a cry for help, and it was fucking stupid. Um, the only thing was is. Um, you know, I took this test when I was 14. My personality wasn't fully developed. So, I'm going to 
actually asked my doctor if he thinks that I should be referred to a shrink who will administer this test to me or something like it and I trust my doctor <coughs> so um, basically it says right here um, the standardized answer sheets can be hand scored with templates that fit over the answer sheets most tests are computer scored though uh, computer scoring programs for the current standardized version are licensed uh, to Pearson Assessments and other companies located in different countries. <coughs> there's different ones. There's the MMPI-2, there's the MMPI-A, and there's the MMPI-2-RF, which is the newer one. Um, I'm just scanning this article because, you know, There's clinical scales, there's validity scales, there's content scales. I'm just glancing through it because I don't want to know what's in it, per se. Um, yes, my love. Yes, my love. Yeah, just in a little bit, baby, okay? Let mama finish this up and then you can go outside for a little while. Mommy's really sleepy, though, okay? So just a little while, okay? You can you can take your sockies off because you can run around in the grass if you want. But only in our yard. You don't want to go in the You want to go what? What board? There's no board outside, baby. Okay, well, I guess I got to go. Um but you guys, I'm okay, really. I am. I just I'm starting to kind of realize that things are kind of speeding along on a fast track to finally being able to diagnose what the fuck is wrong with me and hopefully becoming more aware of it. Yes, my love. Can you open my door? Not right now, sweetheart, because you can't go outside without me being right there with you watching you. You are too little, and I love you too much to let you play around, play around outside by yourself. Because if something were to happen to you, it would break my heart into a million pieces. She's feeling much better now. <laughs> I'm a little relieved and a little kind of like, man, I was just going to lay down. Caitlin, get over here now. Not yet. You need to wait. You need to drink your juice and then we can go outside. All of it. You don't drink it, we're not going anywhere. You need to stay hydrated, baby. You got to flush those icky yuckies out. Anyway, I'm fine. Katie's fine. It's just things are starting to kind of go uphill, and I really need to kind of uh, rely on my, my last bit of resource energy to uh, make it through to this last appointment and to finally be able to start the whole process of being able to figure out exactly what's going on with my head so that I can be put on the proper medication and not play the medication roulette because I'm sick of it. I've done it since I was 18. And uh, it's not going to do it anymore. I want to be on something that's going to freaking work, or is you know that me and my doctor both feel that will damn well work. Cause I'm sick of it. I really am. You know, my, my I I am starting to accept the fact that po that the very 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 almost definite possibility that my mother passed passed down some kind of uh, uh, mental illness to me. She was a schizophrenic. I don't know if it was hereditary on her part. I I have my theories, but those are just theories. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, that my dad has depression and... Well, now he has dementia, but that happens with a lot of old people. But um, I'm finally figuring this shit out, and I just need to just chill. So, thank you so much for understanding, everyone. I love you all, and I always will. You guys are my awesome, wonderful peeps. Um, you know, please... <coughs> Uh, please bear with me, because I'm going to be just laying low. Okay? Love you all very much. You all are dear, sweet friends, and I appreciate the support that you've given me and my family over the last however long it's been.